Russia may carry out lethal attacks on the United States and its allies if the American leader Joe Biden allows Ukraine to use long-range missiles to strike deep into the Russian Federation. The White House was warned about this by American intelligence services. The New York Times reported this. Journalists draw attention to the fact that American intelligence downplays the impact that long-range missiles can have on the course of the war. What is important to understand is that as of today, the defense forces of Ukraine have a limited number of weapons and it is unclear how many more, if any, can be provided by Western allies. Against this background, American intelligence services are warning Joe Biden and his team about the risks that will arise if Ukraine is given permission to launch long-range strikes deep into the Russian Federation. The data obtained may partly explain why it is so difficult for Biden to make this decision and demonstrate the internal pressure on him that forced him to refuse Zelensky's request. U.S. officials who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss intelligence matters and internal discussions said it remains unclear what Biden will decide to do. It is noted that the most interesting thing is that despite all efforts of the Kremlin regime, official London has not yet been scared and continues to insist on allowing the Ukrainians to use long-range missiles. However, the British authorities waited quite a long time for Biden's decision on this issue before giving their permission. The UK is aware that a potential Russian response could have implications for the security of the coalition as a whole. The intelligence report describes a range of possible actions by Russia in response to the decision to allow long-range strikes by US and European-made missiles from increasing arson and sabotage at facilities in Europe to potentially lethal attacks on US and European military bases. In June, President Vladimir Putin delivered a warning to European countries supporting Ukraine, saying Russia had many more tactical nuclear weapons than there are on the European continent and even if the United States brings theirs over. Europe does not have a developed early warning system, he added. In this sense, they are more or less defenseless. At least 10 people, including a child, were injured in a Russian attack on the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv overnight, officials said Thursday. The state emergency service reported that a five-story residential building was partially damaged. Ukraine's Air Force reported that 78 out of 105 Shahid drones launched by Russia overnight were destroyed on Thursday. 23 drones were neutralized over Ukraine, most likely by electronic warfare according to the statement. Fifteen regions of the country came under Russian attack, officials said. <laughs> Ukrainian forces are withdrawing from the frontline town of Volodar, perched atop a tactically significant hill in eastern Ukraine, after more than two years of grinding battle, military officials said Wednesday. Volodar, a town Ukrainian forces fought tooth and nail to keep, is the latest urban settlement to fall to the Russians. It follows a vicious summer campaign along the Eastern Front that saw Kiev cede several thousand square kilometers, square miles, of territory. Ukraine's Kortitsia ground forces formation, which commands eastern regions including Donetsk, said in a statement posted on Telegram it was withdrawing troops from Volodar to protect the military personnel and equipment. In an attempt to take control of the city at any cost, reserves were directed to carry out flanking attacks, which exhausted the defense of the units of the armed forces of Ukraine. As a result of the enemy's actions, there arose a threat of encircling the city, the statement said. The tactical significance of the town, situated at the confluence of two major roads, is twofold. 
Dominant heights and proximity to railway lines offer Moscow greater protection for their own logistics routes, and a better vantage point for attacks against Ukrainian forces and supply lines feeding the south. Its capture is another notch in Moscow's belt, bringing it closer to the key logistics hub of Pokrovsk. Ну так, э, блядь. Туда не так вал, а мы просто отсюда, там пешком будем. Куда? Куда?